Hey, Chiwe. Uh, I'm going to record the uh, part for the verse right now, and I'm going to record it independently. So it'll be, I'll do just the right hand, and then I'll do the hands together. And I've got my metronome doing this funky counting thing, so it should be easier to follow. I'm on an A and an E, so I'm making the fifth. Ready? Go. So that's the right hand part. Now I'm going to see if I can do both hands together. The left hand makes an octave on the A's. Here's middle C. So it's just below middle C. You put an octave down on the left hand and you do that right hand part. So that's the left hand part. Now, I mean, that's the, sorry, the part for the overall song. And the whole you could see that I was kind of gripping the phone between my chin and my uh, neck. But then for the verse, um, the left hand just traces descending octaves. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two. Four, one, two, three, four, then one, two, one, two. So the last two chord changes, E, D, are only a half measure each. Um, and the right hand kind of traces descending co uh, chords. You start with this dominant fifth, and then you kind of move to this outline, which is a G and an E. Then this F, let me turn off the map. No, you move to this F and E, 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 D, D. And I say outline because you can fill it in however you want. Because I mean, if you, when you when you start with the A, you're working with the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So anything you do is going to sound good. So what I normally do is, which is slower. But you can really experiment and do whatever you want because, I mean, anything's really going to sound good. And every now and then later on you can throw in, like, the three and the five, so. Um, but, I mean, I guess we'd only do that in the second verse of the song. So you'd start with those notes. And then you can just do the same pattern but replace the A with a G. And that still kind of sounds good because you've got the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth now. Then it... You do it again with the F, and I've got 5th, 6th, 7th, which is fine because, I mean, you're still going to the 5th, so it doesn't sound bad as long as you go F, C. And I guess you could go to the 6th, the D as well, but when you're going from the F, it's probably safest to go to the C. Then the last two bits where you go uh, E, D, those chords, that's easier because that's just... So I just played it twice. The, the way the pattern would work overall is... Um, so that's the that's I guess the more intricate part, but of course there's this guitar riff that Romeo is going to have as well. So the way I envision this working is for two uh, like two descending patterns. So I guess like for two sets of that entire phrase, you'll do the whole descending thing. So you'll descend once to the E D, you'll descend again to the E D, and then you'll stop doing the, and instead you'll move to something like this. Sorry. So that was just using the fifths, so. So 
overall, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I'm going to turn the metronome back on um, and play the verse pattern um, twice with the intricate right hand part and then twice with the uh, more basic right hand part. So sort of like this is what a verse would look like after you come out of the chorus. Or that intro part. Oh. 